been working my hands down to the bone. No way. Dude, perfect. What's up, guys? We're Dude Perfect, and today is a dream come true. Welcome to Metal Detecting Battle. Get after it, boys. Dude! Right here! Oh. Rules of this battle are simple. Each dude must choose a location and metal detect it for treasure. May the best finds win. What's up guys, Ty here. According to satellite imagery, there was an old homestead between these three trees. And so we're gonna search this area, see what we can come up with. Metal detecting codes here. As you can see, we have a nice dump pit. I decided to take my metal detecting talents down to the canyon. Let's see what we can find. You may be asking yourselves, Copes, why are you wearing camo? The treasure's hiding from me and sometimes you gotta hide from the treasure. And that's why I've chosen the number one treasure hunting spot in the DFW area, a public park. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's dark outside. That's because it's early and I'm going to California. I've been working my hands down to the bones. Where are you gonna be when I'm going for it. That could be something good. Oh my gosh, we got something big. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. Really works out the forearm. Though. I'm about to throw this into the water and go fish, if you know what I mean. Let the treasure hunting begin. Uh, started off kind of slow. Heard a lot of beeping, didn't see a lot of product. No targets were found in the first three digs. Makes you want to rethink uh, why we're digging here. And then I started kind of getting my momentum going. Best find yet, I'm telling you right now, my heart is racing. Made a bad choice on the canyon. It was a colossal waste of time. It was a colossal waste of time. Finally here, a first beat. It was like, the thing actually does work. We're reading in the 50s, boys. There's gotta be something there. Oh my God, this is exciting. The thought did just occur to me that it could be my shovel. I'm mostly disappointed that it just took me that long to realize it. I made it. It's time. Thank you all. We just got to the beach. You know you're metal detecting in the right place when you meet another metal detector in the first five seconds. Maybe this is a hoop and stick. A hoop and stick game. We got another piece. What? What is this? Where's Scooby-Doo when you need him? Two hooping sticks? Handcuffs for a giant? I'm early in the metal detecting game. This guy's heavy into metal detecting. We have the same metal detector? Yeah, AT Pro. I didn't know half of what he was saying. The notch thing in the custom setting. This again, you can make all the bars lit. But I tried to nod my head and act like I was at least a seasoned pro. Boys, girls, children of all ages, I just found my first object, a broken arrow. I mean, I'm not sure how much a broken arrow is worth. I mean, maybe the tip is worth something. You know, this was a great location, but I think that moms and dads in the greater Dallas area are very careful with their things. So we're gonna go to a place where people are less careful on the bike paths. At this rate, we could start a hoop and stick factory and start selling these things. Hey guys. They're going for the whole, uh, I found a screw and I'm claiming that it's from some famous old boat. This right here is a 1942 bolt from a World War II U-boat. Looking for something that's worth real money. The pair from the same U-boat, 50,000 range. Those are big finds, man. Those are from the World Wars. Not a screw from some fake old ship. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a beef. Let's dig her up. We got ourselves a coin. That's worth 25 cents. I'm rich, boys! That's 50 cents! Decide to hit this little mound that doesn't look natural at all. We got something, boys. And I'm like, this is where I'm gonna win this battle. This is about the size of a treasure chest. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, <laughs> found something. I'm really hoping she's not a pipe. I'm getting a large reading. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is a boat's rear light stick. This is big time. When I wash this and polish her up, our pawn shop man might be drooling. I might not even sell this. This might be too valuable to put in some pawn shop. Sometimes you think to yourself, I think I got a pretty good shot at winning this thing. And right now, I'm not ashamed to tell you, my chances at victory right now are looking a little slim. The pier was a gold mine. I'm talking dimes, quarters, Nickel is amazing. 87 cents. It's a lot of money. I feel like I've been digging for hours. WD-40. Oh my gosh, that's definitely retailing for at least six bucks. This could be refurbished and sold for quite a bit. Pretty good find. Ah! Who buried a pipe on city property? There we go. Old 
that for a piece of garbage. Freaking done with it. If this doesn't make you never pick up that metal detector stick again, I don't know what does. Oh, I've been working my hands down to the boat. Where you gonna be when the money run low? Lovers and fans. I don't think people ever use those bike paths. Everybody loves to come stare at the fountain. I'm thinking there would be some fine folks who would come over here, maybe drop their Rolexes right down there. And hold up, hold up. No freaking way. We have 50 cents and a house key. So far, I feel like it's gonna be very hard to top the finds I've had this afternoon. That was a loud beep. Ladies and gentlemen, we found a watch. We found a watch at the beach. Oh my gosh, do you see what I see? Oh! Oh, do you see this? Oh, oh what is it? Oh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's solid. I've never gone from such a high. Who, who makes a coin looking object doesn't put anything on it? What the heck is that? That, folks, if I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, that's an antique sun kissed can, and I'm pumped about it. This may look like a natural, normal fishing net, but I'm telling you guys, in the 1750s, they would throw these uh, at ripples in the water, assuming they were mermaids. Come to find out there's no such thing as a mermaid. This is gonna be a huge find for me. I'm definitely putting this back in the truck. There's no way the guys beat this. No way they beat a watch. I mean, what, Tyler's gonna find screws, nails at the ranch? It's a very rusty nail. Cody's gonna find bottle caps. We have Italia bottle cap. Cody's probably gonna find nothing. It's game over. After treasure hunting, everyone heads back to the DPHQ2 for judging. We brought in an expert to determine the winner of the competition, Johnny Two Shoes Cobb, metal detecting expert. Wow, he's right there. Yeah, he's been there buddy. a while. All right, gentlemen, let's take our seats. Nobody can say a word. This is totally anonymous. Johnny Two Shoes, assess our treasures. As far as monetary value goes on this one, there is none. <laughs> this pile is pretty good. It looks to be a dollar and fourteen cents and a cheap woman's watch. <laughs> but a good net. Probably worth about four dollars. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Last place, undoubtedly be this one. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be good. Yeah. That Hey, I appreciate it. I have no arguments, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Now for fourth place. This is a harder decision, but not much. <laughs> Aren't you the one that's never won a battle? Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that that was Corey's. <laughs> John, you'll be uh, interested to know that I flew to San Diego <laughs> to dig up all this stuff at a beach. In San Diego? <laughs> mm. Did you make your way out of the treasure room? <laughs> and now, the 2016 metal detecting champion is... I'm not angry with my second place ranking. I'm just a little bit perplexed. This is copper right here. The world's largest safety pin? Original Dr. Pepper? Thank you, John. At the end of the day, I think my wife, my mom, and, and my baby girl will all be proud of me. It's been fun. Good day. What's up, yos? Whoa. Hey, congrats to Cody for winning the metal detector battle. He's hey. taking on this brand new gold metal detector. Mm. Appreciate it. Like yep. you think, oh, my mom. Absolutely. Move on. Special thanks to our friends at Audible for making this whole video possible. You know actually why I got inspired to do metal detecting in the first place? What? Because I listened to a great book mm. called Pirate by Clive Cussler. Oh, wow. Audible.com slash dude perfect. You can go get a 30-day trial, get any audio book you want. It's awesome. Go to audible.com slash dude perfect. Free 30-day trial. That's about as good as it gets. They have a great selection of audiobooks, original shows, comedy, news, and more. My favorite place to listen is the car, but choose for yourself. Sign it off for now. Just subscribe to DP. Click right here. You can even do it on your phones now, which Whoa. is absolutely incredible. Oh, click oh, try it, click it. it. Click it to play our new free iPhone game. Click right here to see the last Dude Perfect video. Click right here. Sign it off for now. Core, pound it. Pound it. Tobes, Nogs, Noggin, Coach, Hat Throw. Here, let's hit him with our signature dance. <laughs> <laughs>